Wednesday, May 27, 2009. This is Todd Vlog episode 108. Welcome to Todd Vlog. This vlog's going to be a little bit random. We're going to hit kind of these things one at a time and uh, give you a little update on some stuff that's been happening to me as of late. Okay, first off, the experiment. I don't know how many of you read the blog I keep, which is brandontoddwright.blogspot.com, but for the next two weeks, I'm actually doing an experiment where I'm not writing anything on that blog. I'm not posting anything on there, not putting new videos on there. Everything I'm doing, <clears throat> I'm doing through Facebook to see if I get uh, typically more response, more conversation, comments, dialogues, uh, you know, all those things that blogs are supposed to do. I wonder if Facebook does them better. And I don't know yet, but so far, I've had about the same sort of action on posts that I've put. I haven't seen as much on the notes. I don't think that folks... Um, really read Facebook notes all that often unless they're sort of here's a hundred questions you've never been asked before um, so I don't know we may go back to the blog maybe I don't know but I, I did it's really interesting I, when I did announce I was gonna do that I did uh, immediately have a have an, uh, a friend request from somebody who reads the blog uh, but we were not connected on Facebook so anyway so that's going okay uh, probably another week or so I'll Hopefully, be able to see if it's working, not working. Alright, well, this morning I was taking Jonah to school. He was very excited. It was his field day, and so we got an early start uh, to get to school and plenty of time. And as we were headed to Jonah's school, which isn't far from where we live, but there's a on the road to the school, there's sort of this uh, farmhouse and 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 horses and a little pasture. I guess you'd call it a paddock. I don't know. I need to ask like Sally Martin. Sally, can I call it a paddock? I don't even know if that's real. I don't even know if Sally Martin watches my videos. So a paddock, you know, this little fielder. There's four or five horses there. And so <clears throat> we're driving, uh, driving to the place and I see all these cars over on the side of the road by the, by the paddock, by the field, by the pasture, by the, uh, by the pitch. So they're all there. And so my first thought is, surely this isn't the line for field day because the school's still a mile and a half away. And so they're all looking out at the field, and I don't really know what's happening. And I'm trying to, of course, you know, 10 and 2, keep my eye on the road. And uh, so as I get past, I, I realize, oh, I wonder if there's a, a new colt, a new baby horse, a pony. Um not real well suited for horse talk, if you don't know that already. When I come back, which is about 10 minutes later, the people parked on both sides of the road. I mean, there are people everywhere. You can't even get through, and they're all looking. And yes, of course, there is a new baby horse laying on the ground, and the mom is cleaning it up, and he's all, you know, wobbly and with stuff on him, you know. Uh, it wasn't that charming of a sight to me. Um... Now my wife said, you know, oh, but it's, you know, it's it's beautiful and it's sweet and it's rare. You know, how many times do you get to see a horse born? Um, and that, I guess that's a good point. I just wondered when those people who had stopped, I mean, did they, like, park there and watch the whole thing? I don't know. I just don't know if I would pull over and let my kids watch a horse being birthed. Please. Okay, another part of what I did today it was a really busy day at the church today because I shot an, a, a new video that we're running on Sunday, which is great. I can't wait for you to see it, but I can't post it till after Sunday because uh, I don't want anybody to see it ahead of time. Great video about family camp. It really went cool. Our, our family camp is, I think it's June 10th, 11th, and 12th at Bethel. And um, the only thing is I didn't, I'm giving away because so many Bethel people are on Facebook, but um, I didn't take the camera mic, and so... Uh, the, the sound is not great, and so there's a lot of sort of ambient room buzz in it, so it's not the best video. If I could, I'd reshoot it, but I, but I just can't. I just can't make it happen, so I've got to work tomorrow to figure out how to, uh, how to get the, the buzz out of that. And then I led worship tonight for youth, and it went great. I used Arlie, Ray, and Dale, 
who they've played youth with me before. So that's bass, drums, and electric. Um, and Sarah, uh, one of our vocalists, sang with me. It was great. We did Dancing Generation, Let God Arise, Everlasting God, and None But Jesus. So that was great. And so the set went very, very good. I really was pleased with it, and the kids responded really well. And uh, the band just did a great job. Ray actually bought a new guitar, which I think this is his ninth guitar. But uh, it, was, it was a beautiful white, I think it was called like a Taylor Slimline Classic or something like that. I don't, I don't really know if that's, but something like that. Um, so that set went really well. And afterwards, I just have to say, and that's only about half of our normal Sunday morning team. I mean, we normally have... Uh, quite a few more people involved on Sunday morning. But I just am amazed, not just at playing with these folks, but every time uh, I get to hang out with them, I'm just impressed by them. I think that they're great and they're funny and they're interesting. And it's a real, it's a real unique group of people. So many different personalities. So many different walks of life. So that was really cool to, to hang out with them. Last but not least, I got home and was, uh, I wanted something sweet. And so I went to, uh, to Whataburger. This is a milkshake. This is the Water Size Milkshake. Can you believe this? I, I mean, you see that, right? That's like exactly as big as my head. And I was just bragging to my team tonight about how much I love milkshakes and that, that a milkshake can never beat me. This one's gonna beat me. It's too big. It's a little too chocolatey too, but it's too big. So anyway, can you imagine? I mean, can you believe that? Here's a hundred questions you've never been asked before.